Hello everyone and welcome back to BU at Taxes with the Kingdom of Poland here in April of 1423 where the last episode our king died, the heir died, and he did that thankfully just barely had Casimir's PS who's a 234 uh, get bored but through a uh, illegitimate relationship with a maid and now his I guess stepmother because she's not really his birth mother um, is the region as he is just one years old we are 868 in terms of what we're going to get from our admin, diplo, and military mana points. We have 433 ducats, 35 corruption, plus 2 stability, 91 legitimacy, 25 prestige, 22 power projection. We are building our first ship. Uh, we have 481 naval points for many, 10,186 manpower reserves, 17,000 in our standing army. We do have 5 rebel factions, 16% stability points, still at 14% state reach we are trying to get up to 50% state reach to you know work better into our taxation system our nobility power is at 55% their loyalty is at or as at I wish it was at 55% then 95% their loyalty is at 55% as we go ahead and we get time running here on two times speed Muscovy was at war against Lithuania Although, now it looks like they're just attacking Bataulus, and Lithuania is at war with Kirim. So we're making 2.09 ducats. Um, Ast is the seat of a new cardinal. He's loyal to Bodfrat. So we do have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 provinces that are of a different faith than Catholicism that we could work on. However, again, right now, our missionary strength is low enough that I don't think that's very likely. We could potentially piss off the nobility, but given the, how that then crushes our military mana points, we don't want to do that because we want to get to cord gunpowder level 20. You know, we're already, you know, Bohemia is at 21, Hungary is at 22, Brandenburg is at 21, Pomerania is at 23. Trikai is at 21, Lithuania is at 18. Uh, they're at 20. Denmark is at 22, Sweden's at 22. So yeah, we're, we're, we're good with well behind technology-wise. Uh, and Krakow in the capital here. We are struggling towards 21,500 residents. Again, in general, our people's freedom is only at level 20, again, because 95% nobility power. But we don't want to upset that too much. I mean, we could try to, like, if we take Erm, right, the Livonian Order would join, Denmark would also join, Bohemia would come in. Um, I don't know if I, again, it's what the absentee bishop of Posit. Thanks to bequests by pious worshippers, church ties brought income and property to their holders. The more viable dioceses were covered in prizes, and some priests or bishops bribed their way to having two or more benefices. To fulfill their duties on these far-off estates, clerics would hire local replacements to pocket the difference, often untrained and sometimes incapable of even speaking Latin. These replacement priests caused many problems up to it, including spreading heresy. Um, hiring a foreign merchant will lose 20 ducats and 10 admin. Because again, they just don't want to kind of deal with that and have the even further weakening of the missionary strike. You know, try to see where we can maybe improve our communication. We do have, you know, basic road pathing level 2 already, basic road pathing level 2. Nice and now is level two. Posen has level two. They don't have any moderate communication. So these two provinces do not have any.
communication efficiency. Well, they have communication efficiency, but they don't have any uh, pathy. Right, so if we wanted to go in here and let's say design the project, uh, improve infrastructure, pathing to level one, prepare to construct, 262 ducats, that's a bit much. I mean, it was for three provinces, right? It was for three provinces. Um, again, luxuries and exotics are the big things from the uh, census we did at the end of the last episode that we were missing. I am hopeful that we will finally get to 15% state reach at some point because we did expand the bureaucracy, right? Um, it's no guarantee that that happens, but hey, there we go. We finally are there. Although, of course, we now have negative taxation, or not negative taxation, but negative admin administrative points. 1.93 ducats monthly as we move into 1424. But we have finally got to 15% state reach. Nobility loyalty is up to 60%. So why can we not... Okay, we don't have the be of course. We don't have the bureaucratic influence. Ugh. It's always something, right? It's always something. Um, bureaucratic influence for some reason is at 5.6 and going down. Um, If we... Promote the bureaucratic pension. Plus 20 bureaucratic influence. Negative 1 yearly. We lose 10 admin, 10 diplo. Plus 18 relations between the bureaucrats and the state. Negative 25% progress towards stability. And everybody else hates it. And we gain 5 bureaucratic corruption. I just... Don't we have a bureaucratic advisor? So why are we still losing bureaucratic because the aristocrats and spiritualists are gaining, apparently? Um, I'm a little confused why the aristocrats are gaining influence. I don't think we have an aristocratic advisor. Spiritualist, bureaucratic, spiritualist. No. Okay. Um... Monthly autonomy, great celebration, stability, yearly legitimacy, right? Nothing that talks about having um, influence issues. Uh, Turkai Alexandra Swad Pockets, now on the throne of Turkai. Um. So yeah, we promoted the bureaucrats, which is going to piss off everybody else, right? Transylvania has decided to accept knowledge sharing from Hungary. But we had to do that because is it, we need 30 bureaucratic influence, apparently, to pass a taxation law. Um... Okay, um... Which we still don't have, right? We have, what, 23.85? And we 
lost 3,000 men because of corruption, I guess. Magiburg is announced Tessa as their new rival. And we lost a bunch of money with corruption. Corruption is going down by 0.13 statewide, however. The ends of court administrative efficiency goes up by 2.5%. We have 21,500 people in our urban center in Krakow, which is, you know, very, very good. Um, we promoted the bureaucrats, so I would have thought their loyalty would have increased a little bit more, but okay. I guess. We do have seventy five percent the pulse. Polotskin Separatists, 60% Pomeranian Separatists, 70% Warmian Separatists, and 10% Polish Pretenders. We have a new monarch, uh, Alexandru I Dragesti is the new ruler there. Batuulus has accepted peace with Muscovy. Which is now just gigantic. Bransk looks like it's a little bit bigger. I don't know if it really is or not. Um, unhappiness amongst the peasantry. I mean, I don't blame them. Conflicts and protests over taxes, landlord cruelty, expropriation, served up and customs policies have become quite frequent. If we don't manage to solve the problem soon, the consequences for nation's stability could be dire. We are going to lose 50 ducats, change the SF wealth by 50. So yeah, I, I, I think in general we're not going to do a whole lot of expansion or have a whole lot really go on um, in the gameplay while we have a Regency, it, right? Um, you would have thought less bureaucratic corruption would have helped us maybe raise a little bit more money, but apparently not. Okay, there we go, 2.01. Um, I don't want to do anything to piss off the nobility right now until we can get our military technology at least to level 20. Right? Mainz has declared war on Hesse, which is, you know, not great. The Office of the Lord Admiral gives us naval morale plus, plus 0.25. Just, you know, it, it's, I don't know, not ironic, I guess, it's probably the wrong word, but it's kind of funny because, you know, obviously Poland's not a great naval power. Uh, we are definitely going to try to withdraw some of the nobility's power, it's just, we're not there yet. We have 233 days remaining to dancing before our first ship is built. It is a trade ship, so I mean that should, in theory, help with the trade. But again, that's one of those things where, when I look at it in the trade node, it says, "Oh, well, you're not really gaining enough from this, you know, ship being out here to have it be, you know, profitable." Which, then, if that's the case, I don't really. I mean, I guess if you have enough ships, then that's different potentially, but. We 
we're not losing any men through attrition, so there's that. And if we're behind in technology, then how the heck are we still... Right, we're... 15%... Okay, the current penalty of bonus for the cost of this technology from the institution neighbor bonuses and being ahead in time. We're ahead? Well, we haven't embraced commercialization. Which you can kind of see here on the map. Philip of Austria has been promoted to be the new emperor. I mean, we are trying to embrace it more and more. Oh, good lord, now we have to give relief. Hit by a plague, cities of the Czech are struggling with the burden of taxation only adds to the miserable lot. Accepting this province of taxation can give them time to rebuild and improve their situation. Uh, tax relief for 10 years, that's fine. Um, disowned relative has expired in Poland, which will help with our legitimacy. Because it's already going down because we have a regency, and again, we are going to have a region for a long time. Hey, are we finally there? We can embrace commercialization. It'll cost us 138.99. So we'll call it 139 ducats. What is commercialization? Interest per annum, negative one. Inflation reduction, negative 0.01. Wow. That really, I mean... We will embrace commercialization, of course. Which is going to help us with our technology. Which is awesome. But that embracement of commercialization really didn't achieve a whole lot. So we are going to we'll go to cord gunpowder level twenty first. Um, the development of cord gunpowder allowed for heavier, more reliable guns by rolling the gunpowder paste into small cord sized clumps instead of large balls. The arrow was trapped within the powder that allowed for rapid combustion, which made it as much as three hundred percent more powerful than before. Interesting. When 34 pounds of serpentine gut powder was needed to fire a 47 pound cannonball, only 18 pounds of cord gut powder was necessary. Infantry fire plus 0.10, or 0.10, cavalry fire plus 0.05. We are almost going to be able to get artillery. As that happens at level 21. And we will go ahead and now do the Office of the Lord Admiral, 409 Diplo. As navies grew larger, it became reported to have more control over them. The Office of Lord Admiral, Lord High Admiral, was first created in 1400, placing one man in charge of all the ships of the nation. Naval force limit modifier plus 3%. Naval morale increases by 0 0.25. So we have gotten both uh, our military and our diplomatic service uh, a improvement in their technologies. Now we're not going to go ahead and piss off the nobility right away. And the reason for that is simple. In the past, that's what I would have done. And then we would have negative military mana points um, because the nobility no, no longer likes me. So what I'm going to try to do, knowledge sharing for Bohemia to Poland has been terminated. There's no further knowledge of institution to share. So that'll help the A cup a little bit. It was about half a ducat, I think, is what we were paying them. And so this is important because what we're going to be able to do now is hopefully build up the military points enough to the for a year or two to the point where even when we do lose um, the military points, which will still slow down the military technology, undoubtedly, Widespread tax relief ends in Poland, but it will also give us the opportunity, as we'll take a look here at 23.26%, uh, 
for the bureaucrats. Uh, Bohemia wants to oust the Teutons again, and we are up to two and a half uh, ducats monthly. But my point about that was, oh, again, ten years. Um, House the Knights in Bohemia as well. That by building up a little bit of a buffer, hopefully, right, hopefully, we'll be able to not have to deal with the negative, you know, having the negative military power, right? So we do have our first ship, right? We have our first ship built. We have. Well, let's see, what do they call it? The Braklowski, the Latin Cell Caravels. We are here to January 1426. Again, so about, yeah, what, two years? You know, in. Twenty-two military power, so that keeps us at twenty-three. If we put a leader, costs us thirty-five diplo. David Shahajensi. I apologize. I probably mispronounced that terribly. Full grain provision has also expired in Poland. So we will send our Latin Celt Caravel out here into the Gulf of Danzig. Which is cool. Like, this is one of the things I love about the game is, and I know I'm a nerd, but like seeing the units change as you get more and more technology, seeing the ships change as you get more and more technology is a big part of the game to me. So, if we wanted to say we're going to protect our trade, like in the Western Baltic, Right, it would actually, their spy network actually changes by, so it doesn't actually make an improvement, which is interesting. Right, we have a the Palatsky and Separatists, Villa and Bresti is where they're going to be rising up. We think so. We will send the Royal Army over to Lublin, kind of in anticipation. If we wanted to build another ship. Oh, dear God. Go back to a full grain provision for the commoners. 1,362 days in Elbing. Danzig. Same. None of these places are... So I guess an Ostprussian... We'll build another light ship, because um, it's the only place where we have, it's still over three years, but it's getting a little bit better as there's less and less separatism from our new provinces. I thought this was going down. Okay, it is, but... There's our population. Wait, what? We lost. We why did we lose a thousand people there? What the hell. 
We just lost a thousand people from our city. Okay, so we are going to add industrial there, right? Because we had twenty one and a half thousand, and now we have twenty thousand six hundred and we lost a thousand. Like, why? Did we get hit by the plague? Uh, we sold food, salt, fiber, fuel, and raw, and then we we did buy we bought exotics in Krakow. Um, yeah, I, I don't see that we got hit by the by a plague anywhere. So again, we could have housing up to thirty thousand. So that's why I didn't want to build a next level of amenity because. That would just severely kind of wreck, in some ways anyway, that state reaches up to 16%. Um, you know, that you're going to say, oh, well, you can hold 80,000 people in your city, but you only have 21,000, right? So that would not have made sense. So hopefully through the renewed investment here... Um, To the industrial, it will help us out a little bit. Freedom is still at 20. Um, nobility loyalty is not changing at all. We're almost into 1427. Our heir is four years old. We are losing the legitimacy by 0.9 whatever year, basically, because the regency is negative two. Alexander, I think that's the sixth from Milan, is the new pope. Who is this dude? Mazovia. Okay. But we are going to obviously want to try to integrate at some point. They tell the Volian Order is having the Peasant War. Andreas VI von Luxembourg is on the throne of Hungary. So we are in 1427, so I think that's what, year three? Year three or year four, I can't really remember. I think it's year three. Hopefully we'll get more people back into the capital. I, I mean, I could try to build the capital, you know, infrastructure in Krakow. I don't know that that actually helps. Special commissions expired in Poland. So a lot of our modifiers are expiring here. Actually down to 2.25 ducats now. I don't know why the Mazovian army is not in Mazovia. I'm a little confused by that. Just being honest, right? Like, where, what are you doing? But... You know, okay.
Kirkai is claiming Galinda as their own. Well, I mean, it was part of them originally, so I mean, there is kind of something to that. They are still a division of Lithuania. Who is this? Riga. Their independence is supported by Pomerania, and they're a feudatory of the Livonian order. Oh, that's interesting. Well, we are going to build a spy network against Pomerania. Because if we want to expand our trade power in the Western... We are supporting the Bohemians in another war. I don't know that we're really actually going to send troops, but we joined. But what I was going to say, right, to improve our power in the Western Baltic, we have to kind of push ourselves to the West a little bit. I mean, if we get a third merchant, you know, we could go to the Eastern Baltic, then maybe that's a little bit different, but, again, based on the um, trade, severe looting, right, we're in the Vistula, and then there's the Eastern Baltic, where you can see we have the Ormland, Ostprussia, Galinda, right, we definitely have more potential you know, trade power there than we do in the West, but, uh, I think in 1428 is when it will try to hit back at the nobility a little bit as Hesse gets into an alliance with Wurzburg, because we have 153 military points right now, we'll have to spend some on taxation at the start of 1428. But then we'll be able to hopefully, hopefully, right? Um, Wurttemberg decided to accept knowledge sharing from Hesse. The, again, it's the second time we've had to do that in this episode. Like once, okay, fine, whatever. But twice. Why is stability going down quite so much? Fourteen twenty eight policy of tolerance and then the bureaucratic expansion will go down on fourteen twenty eight as well. Okay. So that would be why the Stability is going down. About 2% a month, so I think in December you'll have to do something. We've got how many days? 653 days, so a little under two years. What is this war being fought for exactly? The, it's just a Hussite raid. Well, okay. Um, right. January 1st, 1428, Bohemia accepted peace there, so the war is over. Um, decentralized ruling, January 1433, uh, bureaucratic, yeah, we somehow spent 16 ducats, I'm not entirely sure why. We did lose one of our negative stability modifiers there, so that should help a little bit. Um, I think it was about the expanded bureaucracy. Which, if we could actually re-expand that, then we could finally upgrade our taxation, which would be nice. All 
Right. So we got our state reach up to 16%, which, you know, is not huge, but policy of tolerance has also ended in Poland. So our stability, I think, should start to tick up. I think. I don't know. Yep, there we go. 2% in the right direction. And then... Influential bureaucrats... will last until 1429. We're making 251 now. Alright, so Podolia, we could go ahead and try to convert. And... I guess we'll try to get Volm as well to the Catholic faith. Whereas Pedolia down here, we've got 137,000. Oh boy, that's going to take a long time. Um, That's going to take a real long time. Okay. And crack off at our capital. Right, the re-emergence of the investments into... The industry industry is helped. Negative thirty eight per cent industrial advancing. All right, the Polotsky and Separatists have indeed risen up, which we kind of were anticipating. Plus 11% in Chevishel, where we've got, what, 6.1 thousand people living in Pazin. 18%, uh, although textiles is negative one and a half percent. And how many people do we have living in the city in Pazin? Uh, 15,000. Okay. Uh, it's not great. But we will again try to build up a little bit of our city in Pazin. The Battle of Bresti. Which we win. Infantry combat bonus goes up by 10%. Sylvester Poteki is the master of arms. Oh my god. No war name started again. We are in the war with no name. That's interesting. Bubonic outbreak star spotted Glaston. Um, what does. There's nobody in a city, and there is 5.7 thousand in Volodymyr. Volm, 5.8. They would have just textiles, and Volm, they would have just textiles. Melania defected to Bataulus about a year away from a ship being built. Can we move this guy to the eastern border? Alright, what would that do? We're going to try that. Zigfred's going to go for the Western Baltic to the Eastern Baltic. 
because we have more provinces here. And I think we're a bigger part of this trade note. I could be wrong about that. Not by a lot, right? 0.17 to 0.11 or 0.12. So you can see it'll increase our trade value from 0.17 to 0.32 plus 0.15 gain while the fleet costs 0.11 abated, so we'll get 0 0.03 profit. It's not nothing. Right? It's not nothing, it's just not... You know, really that important, either. Their loyalty went down to 58%. Alright, he is 6, so you, you can also, even though... They have a Monks preach against heresy. Monks in our nation begin preaching against heresy, proclaiming that the only way to salvation is through Jesus, and in particular through the Catholic Church. Their fervor is inspired, has made them converts to the true faith, but has also upset people who naturally view their own religion as superior to our own. Encourage conversion of heretics, missionary strength plus 1%, tolerance of heretics and heathens negative 2. We gave 500 rest in crack off. Currently, it's negative 26. Or currently, it's 26. I don't know. So, show superiority. That's why we're fighting this war. So we could get scholastic ideas, but I also want to try to get the administrative technology starting to go up too. The Bohemians won a glorious victory about showing superiority in a war with no name. Which, you know, makes no sense. But that's what we're fighting, apparently. A war with no name. Still have two point seven seven ducats are being invested into the industrial. Um, here in fourteen of twenty nine, we just cannot. Process materials, glass, and houseware are all making a lot of money, though. So we are going to put 10 more ducats into the industrial sector of Krakow. I want to get to like 22,000, 23,000. At that point, I will build a capital. So, yeah, I know we can have an idea. I know. I don't want an idea, though. I mean, okay, that sounded bad. It's not that I don't want the idea. It's I'd rather have the technology. What would it cost to be here? We win the war with no name. Cost 28.9 ducats. We lost, somehow we lost 300 men. I don't know how we lost 300 men when we never actually um, engaged in the war. But we lost 300 men somehow. So what I want to do is we're going to
Brock Skrzyzewski is the seat of a Cardinal. So we got a Cardinal of Poland. That's cool. Full grade provision is expired. Oh, dear God. Another one of these wars with no names. Bohemia is out here just declaring wars with no names for showing superiority and doing a Hussite raid. Like, I get it. Right? But at the same time, enough. Influential bureaucrats has expired. So what we are going to go ahead and do... is we're going to promote the bureaucratic faction because that's how we're going to be able to improve our tax farming. It will cost us 25% progress towards stability. We're at 41.3. 10 admin, 10 diplo, 5 bureaucracy corruption, which is at 62%, so we'll go back up to 67%. And it will anger other factions. Somehow it went down, it only went up to 26% influence. Supposed to be a 20% influence again, but it went up by 5%. But anyways, um, we're working on it, right? We're working on trying to get that stupid um, Pedolia, we definitely not converted them, but thank you. Alright, so we have 19 more days before that second ship is going to get done. Um. So if I if I understand correctly, um, the Mary Narca Wojena is the War Navy, as I'm trying to figure out how, what I want to call this here. As we have the crack off, so what we're gonna call do this is the. Alright, the Wojena, and then we're going to call it, I'm going to kind of look this up here. The Pomlock. So be the northern. Actually, there we. Go. That was just the word for north. Pole. Okay, so the northern navy. 
or the northern fruit, right? So I've got two ships here, right, in the northern navy. They're both light ships. And we wanted to protect trade in the eastern Baltic. We would gain 0 0.007 profit. Right, so we have our naval fleet there. We are in October 1429. I think we're losing stability, however, though. Um, once we get to 1430, we'll probably wrap up the episode. Glock, I was at Cabin as a rival. Just out of curiosity, what would it cost me to build the capital? Seven hundred and seventy-one ducats. Well, that's not gonna happen. Oh, <laughs> right. Um, I think it was Pedolia. I mean, even though we got about eight thousand new converts to the Catholic faith, that, that's still not gonna really do anything for us. Who are these people? Who are the Catholic zealots in Bohemia? So the, while the Bohemians are over here fighting these people in a war that has no name, uh, the Catholic Zealots are going to overthrow the nation, apparently. And full grade provisions for the Commoners again. So we could potentially get Venetian's Arbor here, level 21. Pretty soon. But, but see that again, by doing that. We would again then have to wait to reign in the nobility because I would want to build up again the buffer. So that that's really where the problem is going to start coming in. Is as we try to get caught up a little bit on our technologies. Um... We lost a bureaucratic point. It said it went up, but it wasn't 26. Um, but now it's down to 25. Although the arrow is green. Which doesn't really make sense. You know, that's not how that usually works. Uh, where are these war means coming, rising up from? They're at 95%. They won the war with no name again, which is good, I guess. Um, Albin and Danzig. So we will send that army over there to deal with them. We will go with Militionary strength plus two to have per. Uh, no, it's gonna cost us one admin point though. I don't want. I don't want to do that. So bracy commercialization has definitely helped. We did do another investment here into our industrial center, which. And crack off, so we're back up over 21,000. And Pazin, up to 15.2 thousand people. And Danze, can we build a warship? Well, 
Mata Ulus declared war on. Can't pronounce that. Um. So he is now eight years old, which is good. Stability is good. Uh, corruption is going down. Again, nobility loyalty is going down. We don't love that, but you know it's reasonably ma manageable right now. Um, you know we are getting close to being able to have cannons, right? Bohemia's military technology is at 21. Brandenburg's 23. Pomerania is 23. <clears throat> so we're not quite at the level that our allies are at, which... Uh, oh, dear God. So this war, we might actually have to fight it. Bohemia, again, is... Wh what are you doing? Are you just... Bohemia is just running around declaring wars on everybody. We would lose 25 prestige if we decline. So we're at war with Hungary. I don't know that this is what the Bohemians did when they were Hussite. They, I, I don't think they just went around declaring wars on everyone. I could be wrong, right? Right? I'm, I'm not as familiar with, you know, Bohemian history and how all that happened. I have, a, I have a very basic understanding. But anyways, that's where we're going to end the episode where we are struggling to get our... Again, it's going down. It's supposed to go up, but it's going down again. Because we have two out of three bureaucratic advisors promoting the heck out of the bureaucrats. And yet our influence is going down. I don't know what else I could really do. What is Hungary's military technology? 22. So we're not too far away. If we can actually get to our munitions armor. I've never played BU taxes long enough to see if the little military dudes change, you know, colors or not colors, but like unit models. Um, but we do have two ships. Um, we gain, we're losing two because we have two trade ships, so we might have to redo that. Norway's completely gone. It's between Denmark and Sweden. Muscovy, of course, expanded. Scotland's trying to hold off England, although it looks really weird. Burke is trying to hold off England, I think. Um, the Ottomans are maybe starting to squeeze the Bulgarians a little bit. Oh, that's right. We have been trying to develop spy networks at Papa Radio. I almost forgot about that. So we now have a claim on Stolp. And where are they? Are they in the eastern or western Baltic? They'd be, Ermland would also be the Eastern Baltic. So, I mean, again, this, we have so much territory here that is going out into the Eastern Baltic. The deeper trade node here, as you can see, you know, as we kind of push our way towards Kiev, um, you know, that that's also going to be another trade node. But... Right now, as you can see, 
push it ourselves. There's a Cistercian order there, kind of more to the east of the Eastern Baltic. And there's the Western Baltic. What's this? Norwegian Sea. Really? Scotland's all part of the Norwegian Sea. Anyway, that's where we're going to end today's episode. Thank you to everybody for watching as we are at war with Hungary. So we might actually have to be more of an active participant in this war than some of the other ones. I really want to tell the Bohemians to knock it off with these stupid Hillside Raid zones. But thank you everybody for watching. Take care and I'll try to talk to you all later.